on the previous video. This is probably not a good thing. It's probably a really bad thing. There's an evil dragon, like a black dragon, or something like that, or join giant fox. It's an evil dra dragon. Uh, maybe not. Jesus. To be fair, April's face is slightly more terrifying in this cutscene than the black dragon thing. It's not a dragon, is it a dragon? It's a... Oh well. No more! So, to summarize what just happened in the diary, this almost is a bit like Life is Strange in some ways, which is kind of, kind of weird really. Um, so she has traveled to Newport because she wants to go to a university here, an art university, and she's trying to finish a painting to see if she'll get into the university while working part-time in a cafe and that kind of thing. And that gives you the general gist of what is going on really, I guess, in the world. So there you go. Let's have a look around the room, shall we? Toy monkey. Always want a toy monkey. I could only carry one suitcase with me when I left home. There was so much I would have loved to bring, but say la vie. At least it was a clean break with my past. And I have so many worldly possessions. I guess when all my hard work starts paying off, I'll get a house and fill it with all kinds of new junk. The past. Who needs it? Yeah, fuck the past. I actually kind of agree. Like, it's real wood. Good. I'm glad it's not that evil fake wood. Right, we got a monkey. Monkeys are important. Oh, they're also terrifying. Oi, what the fuck? The eye came loose. Poor constable guy. Oh, he's named after the guy from Monkey Island. That's kind of cool. Sorry, Guybrush, but I need to borrow your eye for a while. I'm not quite sure why we need to borrow the eye, but it seems to make sense. Uh, can we do anything else with this? Play a sound with your eyeless hideous face. Hey! You! Yeah, you! Hands up! Spread your legs! And do the monkey! Mildly amusing, but Dance. irritating as hell. I think I'll shut him up now. I just had a thought, actually. I might actually be at the university. I might have actually already qualified for the university. I'm not sure. Shit. I don't know. Just been thinking through it. Did it actually say that she got in or not? I don't know. We'll soon find out. Let's see where we are. If we're in the university, that's obviously a good indication. I'd better head over to the studio to do some work. Only two weeks until the big show opens, and my contribution is in serious need of attention. Might be a good idea to get dressed first, though. Yeah, I guess I am. I guess I'm actually at the university, and I am now doing a painting for a show there. That would make sense, right? Hi, how you doing? Hey, babe. Shut up, dickhead. Babe, you're looking real sexy today. Zach, listen, I I've got to run- Fuck you, Zach! And- What's going on, April? How you been? Did you, like, walk out of Greece or something? What the fuck? Uh... I was doing fine until you came along. I was doing just fine until you came along. What's that? Uh, hey, uh, listen, I was thinking maybe you and I could hook up tonight, go Lovely. to the pavilion or something. We could pop a few raptures, do a little close dancing. How about it? Uh... No, that's not gonna work, Zach. N no, that's not gonna work, Zach. What? You got something against me, babe? Do I offend you in some way? Yeah! Oh no, I just don't think it's a good idea for us to be together He's a like dick! That. He's a fucking dick! Hey, whatever. You come crawling back when you realize your mistake, babe. I'm out of here. He's a fucking- look at the way he walks! What the fuck? What a fucking what asshole. An asshole! Exactly! Oh my god! We're the same person, April! I love you! Okay, uh... Downstairs. Okay, yeah, let's go there, I guess. I don't know, am I- I don't know where I am, you know, I don't know what's going on. But it would make sense though I was at school. Yeah, I mean this is like a common room, right? Hi Fiona, how's it going? Morning Fiona. Good morning darling, you're up early. Yeah, I couldn't sleep. 
Are you feeling all right? You look a little pale. Uh, I just had a bad nightmare. I had a bad nightmare. Again? Well, you're not the only one, darling. Mickey woke me up screaming in the middle of the night. She wouldn't go back to sleep until I made her a cup of herbal tea. Mickey's weird. Nightmares? Apparently. But she refuses to tell me what they were. I think she's embarrassed. Huh. That doesn't sound like Mickey. Sex I dreams? Know, darling. Don't tell her I said so. But I've never seen her so agitated in my life. She scared the hell out of me. I don't know why I have nightmares. I guess they could be stress related. After all, the exhibition's right around the corner. Oh, yes. The school exhibition. How's that going? God, don't ask. I have no idea how I'm going to finish my painting on time. I haven't felt inspired in ages. I think you work too hard, darling. You need to relax once in a while. Live! Enjoy your youth. There's inspiration to be found in hedonism, you know. No, I don't know, but apparently you do. Hmm. I like her. <laughs> I'm an authority on the <laughs> subject, darling. Ask Mickey. She'll tell you I don't lift a finger around the place unless I absolutely have to. Uh, I don't know. Um, I'm going to get going for now. I'd better get going. I want to just find out exactly After where I'm school. living. Yeah, there are no more classes this semester, but I have to finish my painting. Oh, yeah, so she is, in, she is in the school. She's definitely in the for school. For what it's worth, darling, good luck. And don't work too hard, all right? Let's have a look around anyway here. Yeah. Mm, what do we have here? Pink note. Okay, anything else here? The Fringe Cafe. Annual summer blowout at the Fringe Cafe. Lovely. Friday, August 4th, 8 p.m. Free food. Live performances by Royne Dale. Harlequin Masquerade. The Go-Getters. Tickets available at the bar. $10 only. Spread the word. Be considerate. Keep the volume down. Common Room Duty Roster. July 27th. April and Emma. Oh, joy. Manual labor. My favorite. <sighs> okay, interesting, interesting. What's this? Found. A gold ring under the common room sofa. If it's yours, let me know. But no false claims, please. Fiona. I did lose a gold ring a few weeks ago. I hope this is the one. I'll have to ask Fiona about it. Oh, okay. So she's we've lost a gold ring that's under the sofa, right? Makes sense, I guess. So we can now... Hang on. Take this. And give it to Fiona. Fiona! We want our gold ring back. It's very important. I saw this note on the corkboard. I think the ring might belong to me. I'm sorry I have to ask, but could you describe the ring? Sure thing. It says Sweet Sixteen. Oh, God. Really? My dad gave it to me. I think it was the only birthday of mine he remembered, or at least acknowledged. What an asshole. Yes, that's the one. I found it under the sofa when I was vacuuming. Here you are, darling. Got our ring back. Thanks. Fantastic. It's not worth much, but it's got a certain sentimental value for me. Mm. It's a very pretty ring. Yeah, yeah, it is. My dad never gave me anything pretty before. From her or diary, since. her dad's a bit of a dick. He must have won a poker game or something that day. You know what's strange? I don't hate him. He's a bastard, and he treated me like crap almost every single day of my life. But I don't hate him. I feel sorry That's for him. That's a good attitude to have. Why? Because he doesn't know how to love. He can't love anybody or anything. And because he'll be miserable every second of every minute of every day until the day he dies. Hmm. God, I'm glad that life is behind me. I hope I never have to see him again. No, that doesn't sound right. I've made a choice not to see him again. Ever. That's a good attitude to have, I feel, if someone's being that toxic in your life. Anyway, let's talk to Fiona a bit more. There's also some matches on the table there I should probably grab. Hi. Hello, darling. Okay, anything else you have to say? Where's everybody this morning? Where's everybody this morning? Mickey's tied up in the basement. What? Mind you, she's not literally oh. tied up, of course. Although, that is a tempting thought. Is that a sexual thought? Are you getting into your sexual fantasy <laughs> too, Fiona? Because it's a little too early in the morning for that. April don't you is think? me. I am April. Sorry, I just can't help myself. So yeah. Uh, 
Anyway, the plumbing is... You probably noticed when you took a shower, yeah? There's no hot water. So Mickey's working on that. Getting knee-deep in putrid canal water is her job. Thank God. What about Charlie? He up yet? No, he's still sleeping, and Emma just went to bed. I saw her come in when I was making breakfast. Do you know who she's so seen Emma now? Emma probably has lots of partners. I don't know. Some Somebody. guy, yeah. Those lads I see her with, darling. She's too good for those assholes. I wish she'd find herself a man who'd treat her right for once. She hasn't had much luck with love, no? She's a magnet for creeps. Oh, God. And she's so pretty. They prey on her, you know. Who's, that, who's the arsehole upstairs? I can't remember his name. I've tried to talk to her about it, but Emma's impulsive. She doesn't listen. I'm gonna get laid, damn it! She's just as headstrong as you and me, darling. But I'm sure she'll be alright. She's smart and resourceful. And not afraid to speak up for herself. Okay. Well, that's good, I guess. Uh, shouldn't you be outside enjoying the good weather? Shouldn't you be outside enjoying the good weather? You joking? Bollocks to that. I'll stay inside until September, thank you very much. It's too bloody hot. Bloody, bloody, bloody. Can I ask you a few questions? Where did you find my ring? Where did you find my ring? Under the sofa, darling. It must have slipped off your finger while you were watching a movie or something. Mm -hmm. Makes That's sense. strange, because I've been keeping it in a box in my room. I rarely ever wear it, and I've never carried Someone it Someone must have taken pocket. it. That's suspicious as fuck. Okay guys, so I don't really want to show you all the dialogue in this game because there's a ton of dialogue and it will take forever to go through. To so summarise a few extra points from that conversation you didn't hear just then. Uh, your landladies are both lesbians and they live together and they're happy and it's a wonderful romance they have at the moment. It's, it's, it's a pretty sweet story to be honest with you. Um, you have a friend called Charlie who you're pretty good buddies with. Might be a possible love interest. Um, and as we establish your friend Emma, bit of a tramp. Anyway, uh, it's time to uh, time to head off to college. Okay, let's. Uh, can we leave this place at all? Anywhere? Front door. See you later, Fiona. Okay, so what do we have down here? We have a machine of some kind. Hmm. This looks like a puzzle of some kind. I don't like puzzles too much, but still, I'm sure we can figure out what to do. What do we have here? Mural. Okay, so that cable's cut off there. We're going to use the ring to complete the conduction process in the wires. So... I hope it doesn't melt or anything. I hope so too, but... There you go. That's how... It's alive! It is alive. Let's, uh, let's save our game again, by the way, because I've just been talking for fucking ages. Okay, wait, so... What exactly do we do here? Okay, right. And there we are. I think that's puzzle actually solved, even though I'm not really sure what I was meant to do there. That took some time, guys. That took some time. So let's head out and see what we can do. Who's this guy here? Uh. Oh, yeah. Senorita. Oh, yes. hi. How, How are, you? are you this morning, Senorita Bonita? Um, I'm fine. Hot, busy. Busy. I see. Everyone's busy today. You have a big show coming up soon, yes? He knows about me. I don't know who he is, but That's he knows about right. me. Gotta run. I'll see you around. Sunshine and pretty senoritas give an old man like me the blues. I like my days cold and rainy. In fact, I think I prefer the world to be in black and white. I like you. Like an old movie. Like all good movies. But tell me, senorita Ryan, how would you describe your perfect day? Uh, 
Cold and rainy like yours. Cold and rainy like yours. Está bien. We are alike, you and I. But this heat is not why you are unhappy, no? You are troubled by nightmares. How the fuck do you know that? That's creepy. What? You are afraid of them. You even fear your dreams. This guy's creeping me out. Who told you about my nightmares? This also looks like it's made out of clay. No one. I can tell from looking into your eyes. I see the ghosts that haunt you. I don't know who you've been talking to, but from now on, stay the hell away from me in my personal life. No puedo, señorita Ryan. You have a destiny. Destiny? I don't care what you think. Just, just leave me alone. If you don't face them, I'm afraid your nightmares will this continue. This is really bizarre. Soon they will appear to you even when you're awake. Oh god, this is bad. You need some serious help, you know that? Yeah, fuck you, scrub. We all do, April. That's the reason we are here, you and me. This isn't helping, creepy That's man. That's it. I don't have to listen to this. See you later. Bye. Don't me. I've upset you. We didn't think you'd react this way. I hope we can talk again soon. I don't think so, no. This is fucking creepy! Please, think about it. And senorita, cuidado. Be careful. So obviously we're important, and this guy knows about it, but he's coming across as like the craziest fucking man ever right now. He is coming across as the craziest man, like, ever. It's no fucking doubt about it. Anyway, what we got here? We have lots of places to go. Okay, guys, we've headed over to the academy. Um, because obviously we want to work on our, like, painting and stuff and that kind of thing. So, um... Yeah. Anyway, let's go inside if we can. Door. That looks promising. Let's head inside the academy, and, uh... Yeah, we're definitely a student here. The fuck is this? The fuck is that? Oh, it's a hollow sculpture. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Okay, so, what's this? I can only think of two things more depressing than a blank canvas. Oh, do we actually Death have to start our taxes? Do we actually have to start our painting? I mean, there's a palette and paintbrush here. Can we just use them on the painting? Okay, so anyway, let's uh, use our art thing. I guess on the canvas. Paint something. Be inspired, April. You can do it. I believe in you. I'm going to be painting an exact copy of myself painting a picture. Oh wait, it's a shadow. We didn't get to see it! Who's this? Is our teacher or something? Or Emma maybe? <laughs> God, the character Hiya. designs are so hideous, I'm sorry! Emma? Hi! I didn't expect to see you here today. Me neither. Are you busy? Nah. Well, I am. But I was about to wrap up for today anyway. Why? What's going on? I have an important message for you. Okay. Yeah, from whom? Yeah, from whom? Better be that creepy weird guy. Believe it or not, girlfriend, but it's from Cortez. Oh, for fuck's sake! Told you it's a creepy guy! Excuse me? He said to tell you that he wants to meet you. These are his exact words. Where children visualize their dreams. I think that was Cortez, right? Visualize the weird guy dreams? on the bridge? What's that supposed to mean? Maybe it's not. Me? I was hoping you would know. That guy creeped me out. Did he talk to you about nightmares? Did he say anything else? Did he say anything else? No, nope, that was it. Why does he want to meet you? Oh, don't tell me. You guys are having a secret love affair. Oh, yeah. We're eloping and flying to Africa tonight. It's all been happening so fast. My heart's a flutter. <laughs> <sighs> How romantic. I couldn't imagine a better catch than Senor Cortez, the Latin lover. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, 
He's creepy as fuck. Did he talk to you about nightmares? Did he talk to you about nightmares? No. Why? Nothing. Nothing. I, did. I don't know. It's just... My dreams are really starting to bother me. And he me. told me I was chosen or some shit there you related go, to my nightmares. Dreams. You're obsessing, April. They're just dreams. Sometimes a banana is just a banana. Yeah, all those bananas everywhere. Do you want to hear about my dream or not? Do you want to hear about my dream or not? Sure, go on. Like anything I say could possibly discourage you. Even if there's a dragon involved. Especially if there's a... A dragon? You had a dream about a dragon? April, that's pretty sad. What's that? Dragons are awesome! Fuck you! There's a fucking a dragon sculpture dragon? there! It was a talking dragon. I think that qualifies as a magic dragon. You know, I can't wait to hear this. Fuck you, Emma. Go and bang well, a guy. There was a dragon. I think we established that already. You had a dream about a dragon. Yes. You're Not having just a seizure. Any dragon, though. A talking dragon. Yes. Yep, we've been through that. Talking dragon covered. What did it say? I'm going to tell you, she. April. It was a she, a oh, female yeah, she, dragon. Yeah. Didn't say that. What? You could tell from the skirt, high heels, and lipstick? Don't mock me, Emma. She said something to me. Something about being the mother of the future. Something bad's she gonna happen She probably said here. time to get up and go to school, April. If you don't want to take my dreams seriously, I'll just stop telling you about them. Yeah, Emma's being Is a bitch. Is that a promise? What a bitch! Like you're in any position to make fun of my dreams? Have you looked at your sculptures It's a lately? fucking dragon! Oh, that's low. I'd punch you out if I wasn't so hungry. You want to go get some lunch at the fringe? After all, we're friends! <laughs> Uh, I'll drop by after I clean up around here. I'll drop by after I clean up around here. I'll be there for a while, so bye. Yeah, fuck you, bitch. What a bitch! I fucking hate her! That's my alleged friend! Yes, I'm cleaning up. Emma just vanished. Oh well. What the fuck is happening? Who's there? Oh shit! Okay, that was not a dream. I think. I think we have serious issues. Let's get out of here. Somebody's thrown away a rubber glove. Let's grab that rubber glove. There was a person down here. I don't know who they were. I thought I could talk to them now, but obviously not. I am incorrect. Why Regardless. would somebody toss out a perfectly good work glove with just one big hole in it? What oh, a yeah. terrible, terrible waste. Pretty a sex glove. That's what big holes are used for usually. Sex gloves. Anyway, let's head over to the fringe. And be our, be our friends. Our friend. The scrub friend. I wish you could just teleport to the next area. So yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode of The Longest Journey, guys. Uh, like if you'd like to see more, leave a comment, a favourite. I don't anticipate many of you sticking around for the full length of this, but it's something I want to do. So uh, those of you who do enjoy it, please show your appreciation because it makes me feel pretty good. So uh, see you guys later. Bye for now.